Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a shallow screw rig. So if you have no idea what that is, I'm going to show you how to do one. So what you're going to need is some uh, stainless steel wire. This is uh, one millimeter. And you're going to need some pliers too. And then you're going to need something to cut the uh, wire with. So let's get started. I'm going to take a uh, roughly 20 centimeters of this uh, stainless steel wire. And uh, let's cut that off. And then I'm going to use this uh, tool that I made from a screwdriver. Uh, it basically has a hole that um, locks the uh, wire in so that it's going to be easy for me to uh, make sort of like a coil around the uh, shaft of the, uh, the uh, screwdriver. So here how it, how it works. So you lock that in and then you just uh, start turning the wire and making this uh, uh, rather loose coil that you're then later on gonna screw into the soft plastic itself. I usually make a uh, forever loosage of this. And uh, now I'm gonna start um, actually bending the, uh, uh, the line tie. Line tie hoop loop. And as you have to make sure that this actually is uh, straight in the middle, like this. Let's uh, make the loop itself. Let's uh, crimp that in, like so. Makes the loop look a little bit nicer. Then I just uh, bend it around the uh, the wire. Usually two times is enough, but uh, of course you can go even further than that if you feel like it's not enough. Then I'm gonna make a second loop, uh, which is basically gonna be the, uh, the loop that holds uh, the wire. And uh, later on, you can actually add um, weights to this uh, if you if you want. So basically, this is um, sort of like a lock. And it should look like something like that. And I'm just gonna trim the um, tag ends off. I'm gonna leave uh, roughly uh, three or four millimeters. And I definitely need to get better cutting pliers, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> These things suck. <laughs> oh well. Well, this is what it's supposed to look like after you've done the, the bending. Alright, let's get started with the rig itself. You're gonna need some coated steel wire and some crimps to go along with that. And you're also gonna need some um, swivels as well. And I'm gonna start off by screwing the shallow screw into the soft plastic that I intend to use the rig on. Like so. I've already cut a piece of wire that I intend to use on the rig. Uh, it's probably 10 centimeters long 
And as you can see, I've actually bent one of the points on the hook. And I've also flattened the barb. Uh, this uh, bent piece actually goes into the soft plastic body later on and holds the rig itself in place. Okay, that looks alright. And um, now I'm actually gonna use this uh, jaws on my uh, pliers which I can use to use to crimp the crimps onto the wire like so obviously you, you could actually uh, go out and buy actual crimping tools but since I have this uh, uh, jaw on my pliers I just prefer to use that it should look like something like that Now I'm going to attach the swivel to the shallow screw uh, snap link, like so. Then I'm going to take the crimped hook and push that into the soft bait. Then I'm going to use the swivel as a guide uh, to where I can push the front hook in. After that I'm going to thread the wire through the hook eye and swivel and make a loop from this, uh, from the steel wire. And this part is usually kind of finicky. And uh, I must add that um, you must, must make sure that the wire is tight enough or else you're not going to be able to hook the fish well enough and you're going to end up losing a lot of them after the first strike. So make sure that the rig is uh, tight enough like this. And then I'm just basically going to crimp the, uh, the front hook uh, in place. Right, let's attach the rear hook back on and uh, what I usually like to use this uh, shallow screw snap link uh, is actually attach some weight on onto it like so and basically the idea of um, this sort of rig is that uh, when a pike hits the lure the hooks come loose and you save your soft plastic from a lot of teeth marks and uh, thus making them actually last a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, let's actually cut this tag end off. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick little tutorial of mine again and I'll see you guys next time.